Hey guys, so let's spend a few minutes together in my kitchen today. We just got back from our hunting slash camping trip and just touch base on something real quick. I wish that I was a an aesthetically pleasing type of person, okay? So I just... I'm not. My, <laughs> I think my home is cozy and beautiful and it is still very much under construction so not all of it's beautiful. But I just, like, I don't wear aesthetically pleasing homestead clothes. I wear clothes that are comfortable because I'm doing livestock chores. I have small children in my house, sometimes extras like I do today. So I apologize if my videos aren't gorgeous like some of the other YouTubers. I will get better at it, I promise, but just stick with me. And also drop in the comments what you guys want to see from us. More kitchen, more livestock. What are you looking for? More hunting, more hiking. So I'm just trying to get the house cozied back up. I'm doing some things with the kids today to um, get us re-situated after our camping slash hunting trip. I have some broth going. Uh, I need to make sure that I am drinking more broth. I want to make sure that I'm drinking a cup of broth every single day because I really struggle to get all of my nutrients. I either get busy and don't eat enough or I get busy and I eat foods that aren't giving me the nutrients that I need. So I have some broth going. I like to do a mixed broth. I like to do some vegetables and like either chicken or uh, beef bones. I think that a mixed broth is the best tasting type. That has tomatoes, ginger, cabbage, celery, carrots, onions, garlic, and chicken bones all in there plus some apple cider vinegar. So right now I'm just getting some breakfast going. I was packaging up the bacon that we took on the trip and separating that into the packaging sizes that we'll use on like individual weekend mornings. While I'm at it, I've been cooking up some bacon to have in the fridge for a couple days and also making myself some breakfast. I like having a few pieces of bacon in a baggie or a bowl in the fridge. It is nice to throw on sandwiches or the kids actually just kind of like snacking on it. So I am a sucker for breakfast sandwiches, so that's what I'm having for breakfast this morning because we bought English muffins for the camping hunting trip and didn't use all of them. Now I can make my own English muffins and I do need to get back into that. Now that we're headed into winter, you guys will see me do a lot more um, homemade, more scheduled, keeping my homestead kitchen up to date type stuff. Our year's been a little hectic because we um, just moved into this house in April. So I uh, salt and peppered the egg. I like my egg runny for my sandwiches and how I do that is as soon as I flip the egg over, I just turn the stove off. It's pretty simple. Uh, so that's, breakfast sandwiches are just what, um, you know, just what heaven is made of. I just feel like they're just like the perfect balance of all of the flavors. So this morning I'm going to throw together some sugar cookies for the kids to roll out, cut out, and decorate. I have the extra kid today uh, who uh, actually belongs to my friend. I have her a couple days a week. So it's just a good fun project for them to do. Uh, gets them involved in the kitchen. My kids help uh, me make stuff all the time as far as like putting the ingredients in and mixing it up. So they're pretty used to this type of stuff and I like to make sure I'm doing it um, as often as possible. I want them all to enjoy the kitchen and be familiar and comfortable with cooking and baking. Now the recipe for these, I found it online and I can leave the link below, was four cups flour, three quarter teaspoon salt, one cup butter, one cup sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons vanilla, three quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Full di disclosure, I did forget the baking powder so I think they were a little more dense than they should have been. Uh, sugar cookies for cutting out and decorating aren't my favorite as far as just eating because they are kind of they do tend to be a little dense um, and I don't enjoy that I like a nice soft cookie but this was great for cutting out and decorating so this um, recipe I'll keep on hand for the kids to use 
we'll do a lot more cookie decorating and stuff like that going into the winter and going into Christmas time the kids have requested to keep this recipe on hand uh, for Santa so we will be sure to do that now it says to chill the dough for up to two hours I chilled it for about an hour and it still worked fine but then I had to work it a little bit to get it to roll out uh, my fridge also runs a little cool so got it all rolled out all of the kids got to cut out three or four cookies um, I, ha I brought out the Christmas cookie cutters I think that's really all I have on hand I should probably look into getting some cookie cutters for other holidays as well so they all got to cut out some cookies we had uh, Christmas ornaments uh, Santa's angels uh, Christmas trees so everything you could think of and they cut them out I think I had like 12 cookies total for them to decorate which was four cookies each which was really great the rest of these I just cut out with my um, canning jar lid that's like my favorite basic cookie or biscuit cutter is just a canning jar lid and I just cut them out regular round ones for Paul to eat again I forgot the baking powder so they were a little more dense than he liked as well but the kids did end up cleaning all of them up just fine they enjoyed them so got the the rest of these rolled out and for the frosting I actually used a basic buttercream frosting and I forgot to film it uh, it was just butter, um, powdered sugar, vanilla, but when I went to go add cream or milk, instead I actually used and added in our favorite pumpkin spice creamer. And that was really tasty and really fun. I highly recommend that. We like the uh, Chobani pumpkin spice creamer because it's like the cleanest one we can find ingredient ingredients wise uh, you know coffee creamers are just always so filled with so much stuff so this is how the cookies came out uh, they came out pretty good actually especially considering I forgot one of the ingredients that would make them less dense and more fluffy so we had the pumpkin spice buttercream frosting and then I just had like some random stuff on hand. I had some sprinkles, I had some mini M&Ms, mini chocolate chips, I had some eyeball candy sprinkle things and stuff like that. So I just kind of took all of that out and I colored the frosting uh, four different colors and so everybody got a blob of frosting and some of the candies to decorate. You'll see right now this table stains super easy. So projects like this I have to use a lot of parchment paper or wax paper to make sure that frosting is not getting smudged in and stuck to my table long enough for it to leave um, die marks on my table. I got all this set up. The kids really enjoyed this and it gave me a few minutes to work on other things while they had something to do which was nice. I've found when it's cold and rainy out like it has been for the last week or so it's really hard to kind of unglue them from the TV uh, to, to be more active and get their brains working so I have to be creative and actually come up with activities to kind of get them moving even when it's rainy and chilly out which it's gonna be for like the next couple of months because it's Maine and it's fall time so our sun is very limited here uh, year-round really but especially in the fall uh, and winter and into the spring so now I need to get this broth canned up. It has been going for a little over 24 hours. You can let it go much longer than that if you want to. The second batch that I actually just did yesterday and I have to can up today, I let go for 48 hours. Broth is super easy to can up. I just use my little strainer. I don't really know the technical term for that, but I use that and I strain it right into the jars. You may have heard me say it before, I'll say it again, I do not skim off the fat off of my broth. We do a lot of outdoor work here. Uh, it's cold here in the winter months, and so that extra fat in that broth is not bad at all to have in our diets. So the fat stays in our broth here. I'm gonna strain it out into these jars. I think I got like seven pints which is really exciting. This is, again, this is drinking broth. I'm going to drink um, 
a half a pint of this a day to try to make sure I'm really getting all the vitamins and stuff that I need in my diet. So this goes in the canner, comes up to 10 pounds of pressure, and it stays at that for 20 to 25 minutes. I can't remember which one it is. Do your own research and double check that. Uh, for my elevation, it's 10, uh, 10 pounds of pressure. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We will talk soon. Happy homesteading.